This was like eight days ago. A tale of two candidates. You really want to see something that's uh, take a look at what happened here. Damn. <laughs> Oh, wow. Look, I'm Donald Trump. I think I'm so cool because I got shot. What a loser. Are people seriously pretending that looks cool? He did a photo op because he heard a loud noise. Loser! Ugh, who's impressed with this guy? America will never be defeated. <laughs> He's so USA. buff. USA. USA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one's juggling. <laughs> you go to magic camp. Who is this supposed to impress? That's awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> As if we're supposed to be intimidated by this. Oh my god. Joe Biden! <laughs> Oh, this just in. Joe Biden just bravely and heroically dropped out of the race with an extremely courageous tweet. <laughs> Trump is Whoa. fighting a bear. That's the bravest and most patriotic thing I've ever heard of. Truly an American hero. Can you imagine anything more impressive? What a legacy. You know, not many people could pull that off. That really is impressive. Damn. Freedomtunes.com for exclusive cartoons. Damn, that's so accurate, man. That's so accurate. That's insane. That's legit insane how accurate it is. Yeah, basically everyone in, in mainstream media is like, oh my God, Donald Trump, who cares, right? They're basically trying to like diminish the fact that Donald Trump was nearly assassinated like three weeks ago. Like, no, like, of course, they're like, oh, sh oh, here's the thing. In my, here's my conspiracy theory. All right, here we go. They said that crooks walked in with secret service he was seen walking around with a rangefinder and a backpack and those aren't allowed at the venue people saw him climb up people saw him on top of the roof the secret service saw him on top of the roof fbi knew that he was on top of the roof Local uh, local authorities, such as the local police officers, seen him, approached him, saw him, climbed up, and saw him on top of the roof until he turned around and pointed the rifle at the officer. The officer's like, nope, I don't want to get shot today. Did not report anything. He was there for more than an hour. All right, conspiracy theory. So here's the thing. They wanted to have Donald Trump assassinated. A week prior to that, there was news saying that I, the Iranians are trying to assassinate Trump, right? For some reason, some random news just came out, said that. Now, this guy almost assassinated Trump and he turned his head at the last moment. The bullet grazed his ear. It didn't graze it. It went through the top of his ear and it healed already, I believe. I've seen some pictures of it. You do see a little scar. But the thing is that he, was, he wasn't supposed to live. According to Democrats, he wasn't supposed to live. Okay? So, Obama's like, Oh, fuck. Michael? I don't know what we're supposed to do. But, we must break this little thing over here that says, Break in case of emergency. He, he, he grabs he, he grabs Michael's strong biceps and rock hard pecs and grabs his big ass dick and pulls it out and breaks the glass. And then he says, retire Joe Biden. Basically, he's too fucking old. That when he hits that button, an automatic email sends out everywhere saying that Joe Biden is not going to go for re-election in 2024. And then Kamala Harris is coming in and basically no one voted for her. No one voted for her. She was she was installed there. No one voted for her. They basically plucked her and says, 
We're gonna put you here. But no one voted for me. It don't matter. You are going to be the front runner now. It doesn't matter. We're gonna have every big Democrat leader come out and endorse you. And if they say otherwise, we're just gonna call them racist and sexist. Goodbye you. It doesn't fucking matter actually. You do as we tell you, bitch. Right? Uh, the thing is, after that, you have um, this news coming out. There's a bunch of these like YouTube commercials now. A lot of these uh, th th these things saying that, oh, you know, I'm running. And all of a sudden, no one cares about Joe Biden anymore. No one actually cares about him anymore. Like I, the fact that you saw him like yesterday or earlier today, I think it was during like the like the prisoner exchange. He walks into the plane of the prisoners like there's nothing in there. Oh, he was actually saying hi to the the, the, the pilots. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. Right. The thing is that this whole plan was orchestrated to assassinate Trump. Okay. The the debates completely destroyed Joe Biden. That's when they knew that they were fucked. And then they're like, oh shit, what we do? What what should we do? Right? We even hear Tucker Carlson. He called it several months ago. Trump is going, they're going to take out Trump. They're going to take him out. And then we're going to immediately bring in um, Kamala Harris. And then the person that who's going to be next in line for the Republican side should be Nikki Haley. Right? And then you have two females that are basically running for president. It is my time now. It's my time, right? Basically, he's like, oh, it's finally we're gonna have like, and then uh, every prominent people were gonna come up either. It doesn't matter. This is gonna be historical. We're gonna get our first female president. But Trump turned his head slightly at the last moment, nearly dying. He could have died to death, right? No one likes Nikki Haley, and absolutely no one likes Kamala Harris. Every fucking person here in California hates her. She sucked her way to the top. The only thing that she's good with is her mouth, and that's not laughing. Now, her laughing is terrible. She sucked her way to the top. She was she, she been she was a side piece for Montel Williams. Sucked sucked Willie Brown out so much, and he, and they're like. Hey, Willie, are you gonna endorse uh, Kamala Harris for uh, for president? And he's like, that girl with the tongue? Yeah. The girl with the big mouth? The deep throat? Deep throat Harris? Yeah. Oh, she running for president? Yeah, 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 yeah. I endorse her, I endorse her. Deep throat Harris, right? So we have her, she's gonna be running. No one actually voted for her. No, No one voted for her installed he's gonna put her in no one voted for her all the votes that went to biden no she got destroyed she was the first one who dropped out in 2020 she was the first one to drop out of the race okay she got fucking annihilated by tulsi gabbard completely nuked from orbit Right, and then a couple days ago, she was at a rally in um, a a Atlanta, Georgia, or Philadelphia, or whatever. And all of a sudden, like she had a southern accent, she started talking in black. All of a sudden, but the thing is that people are like, people are saying, "Oh, she's technic, she's oh, half Indian, uh, Indian, and she's half Jamaican." Right, but the thing is that she's not, she's not your, your basically culturally American black woman. She is not. So they put her in and they're like, shit, what we're going to do now? We'll get, we have to push Kamala Harris. It doesn't matter. White dudes for uh, white dudes for Harris, gay dudes for Harris, deep throats for Harris, right? All of these people are coming out and they're not going to vote for her. They I heard that she's going to be picking uh, Shapiro, one of the Shapiros from, um, I think, uh, for, for uh, was her VP. But if she picks a Jewish person, she's going to lose out on a lot of people who are pro-Hamas, pro-Palestine. 
right? Yo, uh, ha have a good night, uh, Melada. Take, take it easy, man. Like, the thing is, a lot of people on the left are like pro Palestine, Palestine uh, flag in their bio, pro Hamas people. Right? Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar, and even AOC, right? A lot of these people who are her, her constituents are also pro Hamas, pro Palestine, right? People got extremely upset when, what's it called again? Uh, the, the 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 leader of Hamas was uh, was basically assassinated a couple of days ago. They were like they were livid, and you're bringing in a person that's a VP who is Jewish. Yeah, that ain't gonna be it, Chief. Kamala Harris put a lot of black people in prison for selling or smoking marijuana. A lot of black people. And then joking about it, saying that, oh, I smoked weed in college. Another one is using labor, people people in prison as physical as slave labor to fight fires. To fight wildfires in California, which is absolutely awful this, this is crazy if she wins it's going to be over if if she wins shit shit's gonna go down she says that if congress doesn't do enact anything after 100 days i will do an executive order to ban all guns. So, she basically wants to disarm everyone. She wants to do what Australia did. She wants to do what Canada did. Yeah, she only wins through fraud. Of they, They're going to have to cheat. Look what happened in Venezuela. Look what happened in Venezuela recently. I believe the um, the more popular guy, I think his last name was Gonzalez or something. Like he was up, he was like at 60, 60% or something like that. The other guy was like at 30 something. He was winning. He was doing, he, he, he was winning. And all of a sudden, I think his name is like Muerto, Muerto, whatever his name is, the current president in Venezuela, uses military and police power to flood into the polling stations and basically stop people from voting. Maduro, thank you, thank you, Maduro. Uh, basically stop the people from voting. Actual like abuse of power. And then he's and then he's like, oh oh, I it looks like I won. It looks like I won, right? And all of a sudden he call he comes out and called like Elon Musk a gringo, called him uh, what's it called again like a like. Like a piece of shit or something like that, and like e e even Javier Malay came out. I was like, "This is insane, dude!" And at the same time, if they're willing to cheat in, like, and they don't care, Demo Democrats do not care about the will of the people. Democrats do not care about who voted for you. How, it just as long as they win, it doesn't matter what kind of tactics they use. If they cheat, they lie, they steal, it does not matter as long as they win. It's because they are so afraid of mean tweets. Right? And that's the reason why they hate Elon Musk, is because he's a guy they can't control. He is a bull in a china shop and he fucks shit up. He, he, he completely fucks shit up. He, Trump cannot be controlled. Ron DeSantis? Nikki Haley? These people can be controlled. Right? The thing is that the reason why I'm voting for Trump is because I'm voting for Trump. I'm not voting for Republicans. Like, I remember someone was asking me... Um... What you know, like Republicans and Trump or whatever. I was like, I'm not voting Republican. I'm voting Trump. I'm politically homeless. It doesn't matter. And it's going to just get. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. All right. 
Yeah, dude thinks that Elon Musk is going to come after him in, in his Iron Man armor, man. <laughs> he challenged Elon Musk to a fight. Oh, man. Yeah, they got away with it last time. They're going to do it again. Yeah. And that's the reason why we need Scott people like Scott Pressler to go around and like turn people and do bar uh, ballot harvesting. Right? If the Democrats change the rules saying ballot harvesting is okay, then the Republicans should do ballot harvesting too. The fact that we're seeing Nevada turning red, that's pretty good. Nevada turning red's pretty good. Nevada was blue, right? We have Nevada, Arizona, and real clear politics has Trump at 291. Last time I checked, real clear politics have Trump at 291 and Kamala Harris at like 253. That's, you know, and you only need 270 to win. So we'll see, man. We'll see what's going to happen. Uh, it's just going to get crazier. It's just going to get worse. Just hold on to your ass.